<laughs> You're the guarantee. <laughs> my channel you already know you can't sit with me if you are not p-o-p -P, and that is pretty on purpose y'all kept asking for me to do another um that show story with b simone and for all the people who watched the last one we were not picking at the people life is short you have to look at the cup what's the saying <laughs> look at the cup and drink some water i don't know <laughs> look at the, it, look at the cup half full not half empty is that all <laughs> <laughs> of you guys look at the cup half full, which is great. But when you look at the cup half empty, your water keeps going down. But if you look at it half full, your water gonna keep rising. It's okay. I, <laughs> so look, just laugh. Just look at the cup. Just look at the cup. <laughs> and also, so, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got four stories. We're gonna get into it. Here we go. Hi, so. Okay, so right. here's our situation. We get it, y'all. Obviously, we're two girls together, and if you can't tell, we can tell. My single ass man. Okay, obviously, we're two girls together, you never me like and that? you know, um, there's a lot of controversy, especially with us being. Get it out. Brown skin. Oh, We're not gonna okay. say black because I'm not I black. Was like, hey. Um, but you know, my dad is a pastor. Oh, my mommy. Our parents Hi. are pastors. <laughs> she said, Hi. And he has a real problem with us being together. Aww. Like he, um, he came to pick me up from Akron. I used to go to college in Akron. That's so cute. And she was there and he yelled at us and gave us this whole speech about how it would not be celebrated mm. or tolerated or, um, you know. No, no holidays. <laughs> That's what he she said. He said up. there will be no holidays of us, you know, coming and all that other stuff. And, you know, my parents, my mom, and my grandmother followed suit and followed along. And we just want to know what we should do. Because that's just, that's my dad, obviously. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't that like her. That nigga was mad. <laughs> 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 he, he was she very like, she like, she like, she like, said that she can not step foot through the door. Mm. Um, the door. <laughs> <laughs> and all of that. So... <laughs> We just want to know what we should do because we love each other. We've been together. We've been together for a year. So <laughs> that's not long. And he never said, did. Like, she was about to say. I thought you were saying text ten years. Talking about he hope we break up and everything. Hey, right. um, you so We just. I just want to know. What that's not good. Is. It's crazy because my sister, my baby, she's going through the same thing. She's engaged to a girl, and my dad is a pastor. His parents are pastors too. But some of my family, except her fiance, and other parts of my family, like she can't come in the house. I told my sister, look, if you are happy and you love her, f the world. You be happy in your own little bubble because people's problems and people's negativity, it has nothing to do with you, it's them. Mm -hmm. So even with the pastoring stuff, that's just their beliefs, but you can't pour your beliefs onto other people. You have to let them live their life. If they're not hurting nobody, if y'all aren't being negative, if y'all aren't disrespecting everybody else's lifestyle, y'all are just being happy, mm -hmm. loving, joyful, peaceful people, you're not doing anything wrong. Just live your life. When they get mad and riled up, you don't fight them with anger yeah. and you just be like, okay, yeah. Yeah. all right, dad, well, this is my choice. Be very positive and sweet and submissive so they can't, it's like they almost can't be mad at you. Like, it's not, it's not no war if you don't fight back. Right. So let them fight that war on their own. When I first told my mom, I like, you know, girls and guys or whatever the case may be, um, she was asking me, was it something she did? Was it my fault that I wasn't, was not a good parent? This and that, and my dad didn't talk to me for a while. I guess because, you know, it's something new that they don't understand. When people don't understand something or fear something, they don't like they it or they talk it. about it. Yeah, but you're his child and I feel like a dad or a parent, anybody should still love their children no matter what. Because at the end of the day, God is love. God and is love. He's not looking at you no different, you know what I'm saying? It's just us as people. We like to judge and look at stuff, but God is not judging you for anything that you do. 
So I just tell y'all, keep loving each other. I hope y'all go another year, another year, another yeah. year. Y'all are so cute. If y'all really love each other, stay with each other. Live your life for you. In the video, you were like, but that's my dad. I get that. Yeah. But you still have to live your life. You still have to live your life. You're not living your life for your dad. At the end of the day, it's your dad, but sometimes family don't understand. And sometimes you have to distance yourself from family that doesn't support you. And by him being a preacher, I feel like he should understand you should love everybody. Yeah. Like, that's something he, he you're not the problem. He needs to ask God to give him a forgiving heart and an understanding heart because that he's lacking understanding, forgiveness, and love. Well, girl. We ain't got no more to say about your story, but you know, that's your story. What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? <laughs> so, first off, before I even get into it, your eyebrows are on point all the time. No, but here's the story. <laughs> She's just talking. So, I've known this guy for like six years now. And when I first met him, which was when I was 13, he was dating my best friend at the time. We would all hang out and like be at her house and stuff. So, one day, I was at her house. And we were all chilling in her room. And then she got up and went to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And then he started play fighting with me. I was like, why are you play fighting with me when she's not up here? So we, we went back and forth. And he was stronger than me at the time. And he pinned me down to the bed. And he kissed me. Mm -hmm. And I got up. I was like, hmm. I, I hit him. And then I left. And like after that, I didn't come around as much. So years later... He tried and hit me up talking about, oh, I was supposed to be with you back then. Oh, and I still want to be with you. But I'm not going to be with somebody who is willing to do that with somebody. Like, if you were with me, won't you do the same thing you did with me? Mm -hmm. She worried about the wrong thing. With somebody else? Is that her best friend? Like, I'm, I usually give people a chance. But if you've not already shown yourself in the video. Like <laughs> that in the first place, then what's the point of me even giving you a chance? And he's been trying for like six years now. Video. Six years to get with me. I don't know. I don't I don't want to be. And plus he ain't got nigga. Uh, like, why would I be with the ain't got nigga? Ain't got, he ain't got nigga. Anyway, oh, so what do you think I should do? I ain't got nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got nigga. He ain't got nigga. <laughs> So she was saying she was at somebody's house and it was somebody, at her. She said her best friend. Yeah, house. and he was. Okay, so why are you trying to date your best friend's nigga? She wasn't. He was no, trying to date what, her. What's the question? The question, so the question is. the question is. <laughs> should I fuck with him? Like, like, <laughs> 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 should I fuck with this ain't Now, because it's been six years later. I don't later. care if it's two years, baby. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> you cannot date your best friend. But she was saying that, but she just wanted to know if she's making the right choices. It's later. Like, he did it. He tried to sneak and talk to her. First of all, she should have told her best friend as soon as it happened. So she she, she should have screamed on the bed. He's trying to kiss me. <laughs> but she said, she, she said, she slapped First him. of all, when he pinned you down, you should have yelled help. She said, so she, we, she said she slapped him and left That wasn't enough. And she said she never came back. <laughs> The question is, should she mess with him now? Oh, what's the question? The question is, should she mess with him now? Why is that a question, baby girl? <laughs> that <laughs> is her best They were 13. Day. She's I don't care there. if you were two. Okay. Y'all playing in the I, No, I agree, but I just want to debate about it. No. So she shouldn't, even mm -hmm. though she was 13 and now they're 19. That's her best friend's ex. Where's your best friend? Are y'all even still friends? Are y'all even so no, So friends? if they're not friends, does she mess with them? No. So it's another. That's law. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> Who wrote the book of <laughs> Brooks? Can we get it on the phone? <laughs> so she can't mess with them? No. Okay, well, B said you shouldn't mess with them. I say it's Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. It's, she it was Zoe. 13. She's 19 now. That was her best friend's boyfriend. That's trifling. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> well, girl, yeah, that is. I mean, it is wrong. That's your best friend. Don't mess with them. I mean, they're probably not even friends no more. Well, if y'all aren't friends no more, 
I still say don't date him. That's, that's what I'm because saying. Because like you said, if he did it to her, he did it to her too. Right? I'm, I don't care about the nigga. I'm talking about she doesn't need to date him. You, if you would do it to her, that's not the point. The point is, it's don't mess with your ex. Your yes. Ex. The point isn't, is he a good nigga? <laughs> The point is, because that's not the picture, basically. Period. <laughs> with a T, not a D. Well, girl, see, don't mess with me, get your own man. And that's your story, girl. Right. So, well, I didn't want to show my face because every single last one of my friends um, watch your Insta, I watch your YouTube video. Well, they know your voice. They know your voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this a disguise? And we're in high school. He recently came back to school. He was kicked out of school for a long time. He just recently came back. When he came back, I was told that he had sex with the girl, but it wasn't anything serious because we were dating at the time. But from time to time, um, they're around each other when they go like outside and things. And he likes to make up arguments a lot, but I, I really love him, but... <laughs> I saw him talking to another girl in his DMs and I really just don't understand what to do. <laughs> girl, it's time to get your shit and go. First of all, I'll learn how to ask a question. <laughs> girl, see, what was the question? The question is, what should she do with this what? crazy man? How? He's, he's not crazy because, because he's not crazy. He, he, she, she didn't say of, nothing. Yes, she did. He was kicked out of school for a long time. She made it she put emphasis for a long time. Why would you kick out of school for a long time? Long time? What I don't see nothing that bad if he made it back in. <laughs> <laughs> but he did a <laughs> He got kicked out for a long time. Then she said he ended up having sex with somebody else. She, she said it weren't together. So but what? because y'all, he probably said I was going to break. Because that break was because he wanted to fuck somebody else. Niggas always want to do that. Let's take a break. Then they got back together. And she said he's always started arguments with her. For no, <laughs> for no reason. He wants to break up with you. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> he just come to you and he needs something. <laughs> You're the security blanket. <laughs> You're the comfort dump. <laughs> You're the guarantee. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? <you? laughs> See some other people. <laughs> Way out, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't need you next so, so, And then she said they're back together and he's talking to somebody else's details. <laughs> Let him go. And I'm laughing because I I'm going to say. Shit. Listen to everything you said. Like, he pick fights with you all the time. You <laughs> <laughs> somebody else. And then y'all, you taking him back and the then you talking him about me. <laughs> <laughs> she said he be picking up the fights. He's doing it on purpose, girl, so he can fuss with you and you break up with him. And be like, I, see, I break up with you. You me. <laughs> That's another unnecessary time. <laughs> and he's doing that. So now when he comes back to you, because the other girl didn't work, he's like, see what you left me, baby. And he was like, I did leave him. <laughs> and so now you back again. Right back at square one. At <laughs> square one. Did you just like the damn school? <laughs> Kick him out. Take him back. Are you the principal? <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, we joking, but girl, leave him, girl. Well. <laughs> Your story. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Zoe? Um, I'm gonna make this video short, sweet to the point, because I know you don't like long videos. But my name is Sophia. I am a lesbian, and I need to hear advice. Okay. So recently, <coughs> my luck with the ladies has been awful. It's shit. I recently broke up with my ex of like a year on and off relationship. And I recently started talking to this new girl and everything was going good like the first two weeks or whatever. Um, she has strict parents though, so I can't see her as often as I want to, which sucks because I really 
like to have like, a physical just, relationship yeah. with somebody, but uh, she's been blowing me off like four times in a row because her parents wouldn't let her go out and like would sure? like I understand that, but you know it's annoying. So yesterday I got a text from her and she basically just said, "Hey, like I feel so bad that I can't see you." as much as I want to, and She's gonna break up with him. to be honest with you, I have she a lied. job this whole summer, and I get grounded a lot, so I don't know if this is gonna work. I want you to be with somebody who can give you their their full attention. Oh, she don't want to be with you, yeah, she, that was her, and that's, that's her way out. out. Mm -hmm. She basically just said, like, look, I don't want to hold you, hold you back, so I'm not ready for a relationship, I need to get my head clear. And that's understandable, but, right. Like I just told her, like, look, I'm willing to like. And put she up still and didn't want you to do that. I like you, and I want to get to know Aww. you. The reason why you want to like stop this just because I can't see you is kind of dumb to me. I. She don't want to do it. I'm like here to relieve all the stress. Like, I'm not here to put on more yeah. stress. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just waiting around. I did this too. I just need your advice. Oh, I'm sorry, Thank Sophia. Oh, Sophia! Sophia, <laughs> Sophia don't wait. Please don't wait. Especially because it's so new. It's yeah. not like it's somebody you're already deeply in love with. I would just get out of it before your feelings get uncontrollable. But see, but a year is kind of long to people. They said a year? Yeah, she said they've they, they, they been. I thought they said two weeks. Hey, she said a year on and off. Oh, I heard I, two weeks at the beginning, something. Mm -mm. She said a year on off. I think they've been broken up or something like for two weeks. But she said they, they were together for, if I'm not mistaken, together right. for a year. Okay, so we went back and looked at it. You were right. She was with her old girlfriend for a year. Now she has a new girlfriend. This one that we're talking said, about. She said everything was good the first two weeks. Yeah. Things started so, getting bad. Yeah. So it, it still has to be super, super new. new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I would say don't wait around because when you're waiting around, this girl has already she's she's letting you know she don't want to be with you because um, I feel like people use that dumb excuse like you need somebody better, you need somebody good because like why would you send somebody who's good away to get somebody else have you know what I'm right, saying? Right, somebody, right, that's like me and you date and I'm like and right. you're really good. I'm like oh right. you go because you need somebody better because right. you're so good. Right. Why don't I deserve you? Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's just a lot of you. Um, don't wait, cause when you're waiting, it's just it's making you depressed. It's making you sad, and you're wondering, are you bad? And that can mess with your emotions and your happiness. And you don't want to sit there and wait on her when she's letting you know. And I do don't it right you. now when you can with one, and it's easy and it's new. Cause now it's just a crush. It's like a little, I'm not gonna say lust, but like you just like her. Mm -hmm. Do it before you fall in love or really, really strong like with that person, because then it's gonna be so hard. Do it now. Be mm -hmm. like, okay, just cut it off now. Cause when you be in love, you be, your head be fucked up. And you I know? get you saying that you want to help her through it, whatever's yeah, going on at home. Yeah. But if she doesn't want to give you that opportunity, you can't, you can't help somebody make, that yeah, doesn't want to help. That doesn't help. So you're, it's like you're, you're causing yourself frustration trying to help her if she doesn't want it. So just yeah, like don't, don't. I'm not gonna say waste your time, but don't waste energy yeah, on yeah, negative yeah, energy, yeah. basically. Just be patient. You gonna yeah. find the right girl. And if she ends up coming back, she come back. Yeah. If you're not comfortable, okay, put it like this. If you're not comfortable dating other people, just know that that's not working right now. And you don't take this time to focus on you, on you and better you and do something about you. And maybe through that time, she might come back. Don't wait on it. Don't but wait. maybe during that time, she may come back and be like, you know what, I do miss you. I do realize I want to be with you. Yeah. But yeah, I just, Aww, um, I like her. You're, you're really sweet. So you gotta find somebody. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's, that's your, your story. story. All right, you guys. Well, that is the end of that. I hope you guys liked it. Um, always remember, go to the email. It's that's your story. Um, T h a t s s t o r y y at gmail.com. That's your story with two y's. Yes, at um dot com. Wait, that's your story at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. How did I record it? It's fine. I'm back. And then, <laughs> I'm gonna do it over. No, don't do it over. All right, so make sure you send them there, make the videos a minute long and- um, A minute or less. Yes. And we'll read them and we'll talk about them. So, all right, you guys, uh, God only make one you. If you want to be you, then nobody else will. So cue the music. Cue the music. <laughs> cue the music.